Beantown, the city of champions. To me, a city gives any human the freedom of self-expression and discovery. It allows both men and women to fully indulge into their passions, interests, and aspirations while living in a fast-paced yet invigorating environment. Now here is Boston, and as you can tell, we don't get much sleep either. I've always wondered why so many people come here. I've been pondering this main idea, that everyone has a story. It doesn't matter where you're from, your background, ethnicity, culture, or even education. It's what separates us and makes us unique and powerful. Now this may sound a bit biased, but I love the city of Boston. Coming from a small town, the energy offered from this city gives me life and prosperity. It's the fact that you can't go to the city without meeting a new face and smile. Everything that a city needs to thrive on during the day and come alive at night meets this standard when you are from or come to Boston. After all, it is the hub of the universe. After only a few minutes of being set up near Faneuil Hall, I was able to converse with several unique individuals and couples who all had their own story to tell. Some were international travelers, while others came to study at Boston's top tier universities and continue to work in Boston after their graduate education. I met a young gentleman named Donald, who is a Filipino native who chose Boston University for the next chapter of his education. Um, my name is Donald and I'm a student at Boston University. Now imagine for a moment that you are from the Philippines, longing for a rigorous yet energizing education with the incredible experience of a thriving city to comfort your college career. Would you choose Boston? In my opinion, I wouldn't bat an eye in another place to study and form the foundation of my future success. I'm originally, I was born in the Philippines, but I grew up in like London and Baltimore. Um, but one of the main reasons why I came to Boston is um, the educational appeal for you know, having a lot of universities in one place is really, you know, it's cohesive in a student life and it's nice to have a lot of um, similar people and like peers around you and it's, it's good to grow at. The atmosphere that surrounds the city of Boston is explicitly remarkable, offering new ways of creating oneself in a welcoming environment while coherently absorbing life in a new perspective. I questioned Donald and asked him what the atmosphere that surrounds the city meant to him. Um, intellectual and innovative and it encourages like you to seek out new opportunities and like culture because it's so diverse. Another man that I met, Maxime Giron, decided to come over from France to study at Northeastern University. So my name is Maxime Giron and I'm a third year student at Northeastern University. And so I'm originally from France and I transferred here for, for school. Whether it's for education, work, or traveling abroad to see the many sites that are engraved in its history, Boston is inevitably one of the most profound cities that offers a multicultural and diverse society. Mr. Jerome also spoke on behalf of Boston's atmosphere. Very diverse, very educated, and you can feel the burden of history. I know Bostonians are very proud of that. And even on the Carl plates, uh, the spirit of America. And as a foreign person, I can really feel that the real spirit of America is around here. Uh, you got a state house over there. Uh, so all this history is really present in the city and you can really feel that like on a day-to-day -day basis. In my opinion, the prominent influences of culture greatly have an everlasting impact on the way a city works. If there wasn't the culture and unique diversity that we have today in Boston, or any other city for that matter, we would cease to exist collectively as a whole. Donald and Maxime both gave their personal insights on how culture influences the city of Boston. A lot. There's like the school aspect of it. There's sports, um, which lots of sports, sports culture and spirit. Uh, so that's a big deal in Boston, and yeah, the the like the corporate side, the think tanks, especially like that, the hospitals, they're all good, and the government and history of it all. It's such a big deal as to what Boston is in its identity. Uh, well, first of all, there is the British uh, influence, like from the Revolution, and uh, you can really feel that in the architecture, um, even in the the spirit of people here to put education first. Um, being from Europe, I can tell you that the city has a very 
European touch, um, which is not the case of all the American cities I've been to. Um, and of course, as there are a ton of students here, people come from all around the world. Um, I work with Indian people, with Chinese people, with people from uh, the Philippines, from South Africa. It's, it's incredible. Uh, I think education plays a big role in that. I also met a gentleman named Ricardo John, who originally is from Trinidad and came over to the United States when he was a young boy. My name is Ricardo John. I'm currently a student, but I'm also a musician. I came here when I was 15 from Trinidad. I migrated here. My parents were living here a couple of years before that. So I came here Christmas of 77. While grabbing people off of the sidewalk, I met a young couple who are currently studying in Boston. Gilia, on the right, is a Brazilian native and had some amazing perceptions of how life is compared from Boston to his original home in Brazil. Their story is so special because it proves that Boston is a multicultural melting pot for all walks of life and experiences. It's something that you rarely can find in any other place. It's unique, it's diverse, and it's powerful in all levels. My name is Kemaly and I'm a student at Suffolk University. What is your name? My name is Guilherme de Oliveira, and I'm a student at CSI Computer Systems. Both Kemaly and Gilia gave powerful thought as to what there is to do in Boston, as well as how the diversity affects Gilia in a positive manner, because Boston is far more diverse than Brazil, allowing him to see all forms of life and passions in an innovative way. I just love exploring Boston. I love Faneuil Hall. <laughs> Just basically exploring every part of Boston that I can, the North End. <laughs> in your opinion, how does diversity play a role into making Boston a great city? Uh, I'm actually from Brazil, so when I came to America and when I used it to, to come here to travel and to hang out a little bit, I, I saw like different kind of cultures and people from all around the world. So now I think uh, it's really cool because you used to know a lot of different kind of cultures and that's a, it's a new thing for me because in Brazil we only have Brazilians and sometimes uh, some people from um, other countries from Africa but it's not much so it's a different kind of word for me. Now Boston is named the city of champions for a multitude of reasons. One reason is that Boston has the highest number of championship teams in any other city. The Red Sox have won seven World Series championships. The Bruins have six Stanley Cup banners hanging up inside the TD Garden next to the Celtics' untouchable 17 championship banners. The New England Patriots just recently added another Super Bowl to their statistics, making a grand total of five Super Bowl successes. Did you lose count yet? Yeah. Sure does have a nice ring to it, huh? Like I said, we're the city of champions. We've won all the major sports, except soccer. I don't know why, but we've always been in the finals. But um, the Celtics, the Bruins, the Patriots. So we're, we're known as the city of champions. Oh, it's a huge part of the atmosphere. Um, all the teams are like mythic, uh, whether it's the Bruins, the Red Sox, the Celtics. Uh, you can really feel like the city leaves for for its, uh, not only football, but uh, for its sports teams. And it's a really festive atmosphere, I guess. I introduced myself to a girl named Shang from China, who studied here in Boston and is currently working as a financial consultant. Uh, my name is Shang. I work in financial consulting. In Shang's opinion, the city of Boston provides American culture that can help her succeed and thrive in her career. From living in Boston, Shang has experienced several influences of culture that are prominently seen throughout the entire city and work to give the city a sort of charisma that you can't find anywhere else. Uh, I did not grow up in Boston, I grew up in China and I actually came to the US for just college. Um, I've worked in Boston since I graduated and it's, it's the first city I really lived in. Um, and it's really offered me the experience of um, like an American city for me. So that is American culture to me. Besides the sports aspect of this incredible city, it is the fact that people can unite in good times as well as the bad times. In 2014, the marathon bombing struck Boylston Street as the runners were crossing the finish line. 
Loved ones and children were killed and several were wounded because of these horrible acts of terror, but what came to light was the term Boston Strong. In my eyes, the policemen, firemen, paramedics, and the people of Boston committed the most selfless acts of heroism in order to inject safety into the chaotic crowds. What makes a city strong is when it can build courage and selflessness in people in the most solemn times and create hope and inspiration through a tragic event. We are Boston Strong and always will be. I asked some of the people that I had met about the term Boston Strong and what it meant to them. Boston Strong means to me personally that we're a city that um, everybody feels that they belong. Uh, there's no outsiders, there's no, you know, if you, if you grew up here or you have come to live here and work here, you feel you're a part of the fabric that makes the city unique. Very cultural, education-wise, sports, the whole nine. Um, well, I wasn't there when it happened. Uh, I know it's about the terrorism attack during the Boston Marathon in 2013, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but to me, it, it symbolizes this, the spirit of strength and sort of way of the people of Boston to come together in tough times. And I've only been there for six months, but I can still feel that. So. Now, Boston has some of the best hospitals and universities in the world. I asked some of the people that I met how these great features affect the city in terms of international visitors or college students, education, and job placement. Well, the good thing about that is you have, world, you have kids, young adults and adults from all over the world, the cream of the crop choose to come here. And I think, in that, like in any endeavor, if you're the best, you want to go against the best. So you find people come here from all over the world, not just the big name schools, the Harvards and the MITs, but the, the lower, the next uh, rung of schools like Brandeis, BU, BC, schools like that. So you have that, you know, you have a lot of uh, young people, vibrant, especially like in the Kenmore area, Cambridge, like that. I would never have gone to, you know, like a small town because I don't, I don't know, I, I like, I seek to be around people of like similar mindsets and to have a lot of smart people around and to have a lot of like ambitious people around is, it really like pushes you to, or it in, invites you, I guess, to like seek more intellectual growth or whatever. And for like internationals, it's like, it's basically the hub of the universe. So it's like, why not come here? It's like a lot of culture, a lot of history. It's like where America started. So. One of the major influences on a city is diversity. It is what distances individuals from each other. Some of the people I asked agree with this statement due to factors that each individual encounters in their own life. Well, I think diversity is the key for any city. Diversity is the key for the world because we're all different, but yet we're alike. Um, you know, we all have the same basic physical structure, but be, depending on where you grow up and where you're from and stuff, you know, you bring your own set of unique, your uniqueness to the table, and I think that is key. I think it's interesting to see how each of the neighborhood has a little bit of its own flavor, but also all coming together wherever I go, I feel very welcome. So even though um, I can feel strong, like, culture kind of inclinations, um, I do feel like everybody is coming together very well in Boston. I asked some of the people I had met about what there is to do in Boston, such as visiting certain restaurants, watching sports games, or even touring the city. This is what they had to say about what this amazing city has to offer. Uh, taking pictures. I love photography and the city gives me a lot of good shots, and especially here. Like Fenway Hall is a, is a nice place to take pictures. So yeah, just walking around, discovering the city, discovering the, the culture, the history. Duck boats, <laughs> that, was, that was always great. The observatories at the Hancock Tower and the Prudential. The waterfront, um, you know, going to St. George's Island, stuff like that. There's really a lot of stuff to this. A lot of museums, um, a lot of pubs and restaurants and all kind of ethnic things. It's really nice, exciting place. There are a lot. Um, two of my favorite things probably, one exploring great restaurants, South End, North End, both have great spots. Um, the other part is to go to sports games. Um, I've been to Celtics game, Bruins game, Pats games, and every single game the fans are just so enthusiastic and passionate. And something that you know, like you're seeing in like other large cities, but I think in Boston it's really that like strong sports culture there. In conclusion, 
Boston is one of the best cities to visit whether you are a tourist, going there for education, or you just want somewhere to go that's different, unique, and special, while offering a thriving environment to be in. For more information of Boston, you can visit the Greater Boston Convention and Visitors Bureau or type in their website called www.bostonusa.com.